some airplane vocabularies, a part of a plane. This is an example plane, even though it has a missing rudder, which is the fin, and it has a missing tail plane over there. The first word is fuselage, which is this, the body of the airplane. The fuselage means the body of the airplane where the, where the passengers are stored and the luggage is. That includes the cockpit, the, the, the passenger area, and the, the luggage hold way, way down there. The next is rudder, which is is supposed to be the tail, but the tail's gone. The rudder makes the is activated with the air rods, which is in the wings over there, and it helps the plane bank, turn, and and, and turn in other ways. So like the the pilot just pulls a lever, and the tail just uh, swings. There's a little swinging part in there that that is activated with the air rods to make it to make it turn. Next is flaps, which is at, which is activated with the slash to make the plane take off and land within a shorter distance, which are located on these these parts of the plane. The outer edges are the slats and the inner edges are the flaps. That was normally used in takeoff and landing. The altitude is how high the plane is flying. Cockpit pilots and co-pilots usually use this unit of measurement to measure how high the plane is going. The yoke is basically like a steering wheel in a plane, except it's more advanced. You can turn it left or right, like a normal steering wheel on a car, but you could also pull it out or push it in. When you pull it out, it brings the nose of the plane up higher so that the plane climbs. When you when you push in on it, it brings the nose of the plane down so the plane goes into a dive. But sometimes, if you put the uh, if you push in too much on the yoke, the plane goes down too far and crashes. And throttle is is a way pilots and co-pilots use of controlling the the power of the engines. The throttle also has a reverse thrust system, which, which um, allows the engine to push air into the back of the turbine to reverse the air to slow the plane down when landing. It's only used when landing, I think. The throttle is a little stick that, it's not kind of a stick, it's kind of a lever that the, that the pilots pull. They can push up on it, they can, they can pull up on it in order to make the, the engines power faster. They can, they can pull down on it in order to make the engine slow down. The cabin is kind of like the fuselage. It's another word for fuselage, which is where the passengers sit. This is a big A3, Airbus A380, so it has 843 seats in total, which is the master level for both the decks. Wingtip is the extreme outer edge of each, of each wing. There are, all, there are different kind of wingtips. One plane can have no wingtips, another plane can have circlets, which is what this plane has. It's like little curved winglets. Instead of, instead of the straight up winglets, they have curved, which is called circlets. And you can have regular winglets, which is the straight up thing, like a Boeing 737. And an altimeter is a device that the pilot uses to measure how high the plane is going. It's kind of like altitude, but it's, but it's a meter. It's a, it's a digital meter that shows the pilot how high or how far away it is, how far away the plane is from the ground. Now, last, elevators which one of them is missing on this A380 because it came off, but the elevator is regularly located in the tail wings, which are these guys. The elevators are used when the plane needs to climb to a, at a higher rate than just pulling up, than just pulling on the yoke. So if like the, the pilot needs to go up in like a really, an, in a really fast emergency, the pilot just uses the elevator controls and that brings the plane up for, it's kind of like hovering, like it hovers up, but it, the nose is just tilted a tiny bit, so it's just going up. And that is all the airplane vocabulary words.